welcome to our channel. My name is Kelsey and this is baby Kensington. We're just hanging out in my kitchen right now. I have this little one with me here today because she's been so fussy. Like if I put her down, she will scream bloody murder. So that's why she's in this intro with me. So I hope you don't mind. But I'm excited for today's video. I haven't done an organization video in a while, so I figured it was time. It's springtime, so I'm definitely getting in the spring cleaning spirit. I feel like under the kitchen sink is a place that gets neglected a lot of the time. We don't always think about it, and it just ends up really disorganized. And mine definitely did, so I just wanted to take everything out of it and revamp it. And I love how it turned out. I think it's going to work well for our family. It's easy to find things whenever I need to clean. Of course, I always try and keep it affordable, budget friendly for everyone. So these things I found from the Dollar Tree and everything I purchased in this was like under $10. So it's really affordable. All right, enough talking. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to show you the before footage of what it looked like and it was honestly a disaster. Nothing had a place and it was just all thrown in there. So I was excited to finally just take everything out and start over. And this is what it looked like after. I love how it turned out. I think everything looks so clean and fresh. Everything has its own specific place. It's just gonna make my life a lot easier. So now I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I got it organized. Um, so with any organization project, I always suggest taking everything out. Um, that way you have a clean, fresh slate to go off of. So I just removed everything. Once I got everything removed, I had to do some cleaning because there were some water stains and it was just really dirty. We haven't deep cleaned it since we've moved in, which was a few months ago. It was nice to just disinfect everything and get it looking clean. I wiped down the cabinets as well because it looks like there was some dirt and different stuff on it, so it was nice to get those looking fresh again. After I took everything out, this place was looking like a disaster. I couldn't wait to get it all back into its place. So the first step I did was take this vinyl liner, which I got from the Dollar Tree, and they have a bunch of different patterns if you're interested, but I liked this floral one, and I just laid it down, that way it'll be easier to clean next time. If there's any water leaks or anything, it gets on the liner instead of the actual cabinets, which is really nice. Purchase two of these rolls and it's gonna work out great. I love how it turned out. I did purchase a new garbage bin and I got this at Kmart, I think, for $6. And I like the white, it's really fresh and looks clean. This caddy I already had, so it wasn't being put to any use, so I thought it would be perfect to put under my sink and fill it with my cleaning products that I use daily. I like using these airtight containers because um, they're clear so I can see when I'm getting low in a certain product, and it worked really well for these dishwasher tabs. I got this at the container store for under $10. I want these all over my house for different organizational things. They're awesome and really great quality. This clear bin is from the container store and it was only $3, which I thought was a great deal because it's pretty good quality. It's not super flimsy like the ones you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I just filled this with products that I don't reach for necessarily every day, but I still use. Um, so I just put my 409 cleaner, my like couch and carpet cleaner, and my stove top cleaner and just miscellaneous things. Um, and it fit perfectly in the back. I'm trying to utilize every space possible in this cabinet.
So this next bin is from the Dollar Tree and it's really deep so it stores a lot of things. In this bin I put dishwasher tabs, um, granite cleaner, glass and surface cleaner. I wanted my dishwasher tabs obviously to be front and center because I do use those a lot and so it fit perfectly right in between my caddy and that bin so it ended up looking really good I think at the end. Organizing is kind of like putting a puzzle together. You really don't know what pieces are going to fit together so you kind of have to move everything around a few times to find out the best um, and perfect solution for you. I needed a bin for miscellaneous items, things that I really didn't know what they were for, but James does. Um, I put some light bulbs in there, some more scrubbers, different stuff like that, and he used another one of those Dollar Tree bins. And that fit perfectly right behind the caddy. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I love a good sponge. So I needed a place for my extra sponges and I thought this Dollar Tree item was perfect. It's actually an Easter basket, but it obviously is my favorite color. So I thought it worked perfectly for my extra sponges. So I put those in there and then just stored them in the back. I don't know about you guys, but I keep plastic bags in case we need them for lunches or just whatever random stuff. Um, so I needed a place to store them because they end up getting like just thrown everywhere if there's not an actual place. So I got this Dollar Tree bin. This is also an Easter basket. It fit perfectly right behind our garbage can. And like I said, I was trying to utilize all the space possible. So I love how everything came together and it just fit like a perfect puzzle. So this is a super simple DIY, it's from the Dollar Tree. Get the command hooks and this wire basket at the Dollar Tree, so it's only $2 all together, and it comes in really handy. Um, it's like a little shelf to put whatever you want in it, but I decided to put my sponges in it because I do use sponges a lot. You just hook the shelf onto the command hooks and it sits perfectly. I found these really adorable sponges at the Target dollar spot. They were only a dollar and just reminds me of springtime and so it gets me in the cleaning spirit. I love how cute and springy the sponges look when I open up my cabinet to go get my cleaning supplies and it's really all about the little things, people. This is also super simple. You just take a clip onto your rubber gloves I put a command hook right under that basket and it just fits perfectly on them. I like that I know exactly where my gloves are every time whenever I need to do the dishes. So I needed a place to put my magic erasers so I ended up just putting them in that miscellaneous bin and it worked out well. Super easy to get to so whenever I need one I can just reach back there and I'm good to go. So basically that's it you guys. It's super simple, super affordable, but yet it looks so organized and I just think it looks really bright and fresh. It's not that crazy mess anymore and it makes me feel so good inside. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and if you have any questions, leave them down below. You guys have a happy Easter and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.